Viewers are speaking out on a segment we aired yesterday concerning the federal ban on assault weapons. The 1994 ban could expire in September 2004 if Congress doesn't extend it. Now here's a sampling of your viewer email from David in Calhoun, Georgia. It's not the weapon which has the knockdown power, it's the ammo. From Andre in Washington, D.C., you made no mention that many Americans legally own fully automatic weapons with a special permit. And from Jim in San Francisco, your sources implied that assault weapons are more powerful than currently legal guns, but it appeared that the only functional distinction was in the size of the clip. We want to thank our viewers for their feedback, and for viewers who didn't watch yesterday, we asked the Broward County, Florida Sheriff's Office for a demonstration of an assault weapon. The deputy fired an illegal weapon at cinder blocks and bulletproof vests, and you can see the impact here. And then the deputy fired a legal weapon, but the deputy did not fire at the cinder blocks, so you could not see similar damage the ammunition would have caused. Also yesterday on the program, former L.A. Police Chief Bernard Parks, who's in favor of keeping assault weapons illegal, gave his opinion. There's only one reason for it. it you cannot hunt with it. Uh, it's only one reason, and that is that it kills people. It's a military weapon. It should be kept in a military arsenal and out of the domestic society. Now we give you the other side from the Executive Vice President of the National Rifle Association, Wayne LaPierre. Wayne, thanks for being with us. Hi, Kara. Good to be with you. Well, if the ban on assault weapons expires, what kind of weapons would be legal? Kara, let me say this at the start. I'm glad you ran that story because apparently the only difference between the New York Times and CNN is that when a reporter for the New York Times fakes a story, he's fired, and at CNN, he's not. Your bureau chief, John Zarella, deliberately faked the story yesterday intending to show that the performance characteristics of banned firearms on the list are somehow different from the performance characteristics of firearms not on the banned list. He was, a, he was implying that these were uh, machine guns or fully automatic guns. That's not true. Uh, Mr. LaPierre, I, a, I have to stop you there. No one fakes stories at, he, at CNN, and John Zarella definitely did not fake a story at CNN. Here, You're very off base. I'm going to let you say your opinion, and let's right, have well, a conversation, but don't accuse uh, our reporter of faking well, any no, story, sir. Let me say it again in front of the whole country. Your reporter faked that story yesterday. It deliberately misread right, the gonna, viewer. There's no, way, there's no way it could be true, and I we're, challenge we're, CNN to defend it. Well, we're not going to continue this interview because our, our reporter did not fake. Because you don't want the truth. All right, let me the ask you this. What are the you uses? you don't want out there. Okay, that is not true. You we ought did to not register fake the story. Your, you, you ought to fill out a lobby form and register. Let, why don't we ask an, another question? What are the uses for an assault weapon? Tell me what the uses are for this. Why can't you accept the truth? There is no difference, Kira, in the performance characteristics of the guns on the ban list and the guns not on the ban list. They don't shoot any faster. They're not more powerful. They're not machine guns. They don't make any bigger holes. All which your reporter, John Zarella, implied in that story. Let's talk There's about the ammunition. Folks had problem with the ammunition. We've heard a lot in the last 24 hours from viewers who make the point that it's not the weapons that do the damage, it's the ammo, okay? Can le it can legally be bought, ammunition. Now, does this do, much as, do just as much damage than an illegal weapon? Kira, they all fire the same ammunition. Why can't you accept the truth? There is no difference in the guns on the ban list and the guns not on the ban list. Your reporter's story was deliberately misleading the viewers. Bill Clinton deliberately misrepresented the House and the, the facts to the House of Representatives and the Congress. And I don't believe this House of Representatives is going to fall and have the wool pulled over their eyes the way what happened did in 94. The truth matters. We, the public needs to hear the truth. And the truth is, every police officer on the street knows that there's not a dime worth of difference between the guns on the ban list and the guns off the ban list in terms of their performance characteristics. And I challenge CNN again to defend that story to its views or viewers because it's not true. What do you say All to the, day yesterday, you what, misled the viewers. What do you say to the members of the law enforcement community that we had on the air who say assault weapons don't belong on the streets? Kira, I got calls all day yesterday from law enforcement officers going crazy over that story. You ran saying it's not true. They were dismayed that there was a law enforcement on, officer on there lending himself to it. The story misrepresented the facts. What we need to do to stop crime every time you catch a criminal, 
100% of the time prosecute him, put him in prison. We have all kinds of gun laws. Catch a violent felon with a gun, put him in jail. Catch a violent drug dealer with a gun, put him in jail 100% of the time. That's what rank and file cops know stops crime. But again, I challenge CNN in the headquarters to take an objective look at that story and defend it because it's simply not true. All right, the Executive New York Vice Times President reporter was fired. John Zarella ought to be fired. Executive Vice President of National Rifle Association, Wayne LaPierre. That's why we are interviewing you today, and that's why we're addressing this, to show both sides of that story, and that we all stick by John Zarella and how credible of a reporter he is. Thank you for your time, sir. Well, here's your turn to weigh in on this story. Our web question of the day is, should Congress extend the assault weapons ban? We'll have the results later in this broadcast. Vote on CNN.com slash wolf.